Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is matching wash rag and a dish towel set. So we have two wash rags and then we have our dish towel. I have a little helper here today and he refuses to move so I have to work around him and he's not gonna like it but it's what happens. <laughs> oh, he might be moving now. Anyhow, so in the tutorial we're gonna make our wash rag dish towel, dish rag, whatever you guys want to call them. And if you notice, we have a uh, one side that's more, uh, that's primarily white. And then we have another side that's primarily the green. And I show you guys how we're going to do that in the tutorial. But before we get started, I want to go ahead and tell you guys about the dish towel in case you want to make that also, because we don't make that in the tutorial. But all the only thing that you're going to do different for this dish towel is you're going to chain 62 is how many I chained, which gave me, including the border, it's about 14 and 3 quarters by 22 and a half inches long. So for our wash rags, we chained 38 and then the uh, dish towel which we're going to chain uh, 60 62 the stitch pattern or stitch multiple is a multiple of three plus two so if you want yours to be oh excuse me longer than mine i'm not i'm sorry not longer wider than mine you just chain more you can chain more and um let's see i repeated this until it measures 22 and a half and then I worked my border which we're going to I'm going to show you all of that in the tutorial with our wash rags I love this stitch pattern I think this is so cool okay churchy can I get you just a there you go they want to see this there you can be our little prop how's that Okay, so let's go over what you guys are going to need. I used a 5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors. Get yourself a yarn needle. A stitch marker, just in case. I used it to mark my beginning and end. Tape measure if you want. <laughs> Alright, now the yarn I used... I used a cone of each color. So this is Village Yarn Craft Cotton from Hirschner's. Okay. I used the color white and then the green is the color pear. It's a four weight, 100% cotton. Okay. That is it. Let me see. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I need to tell you guys? I don't think so. Like I said, the dish towel is a chain of 62. And then we work our repeat row, which is one row repeat all the way across. Or, I mean, all the way up and down. And then the, our wash rags are chains of 38. So, get your guys' stuff together and let's get started. Okay, to get started, we are going to start with a chain of 38 for the wash rag and 62 for the dish towel. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, I'm going to do this off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my chain done. And now into the second chain, so this one right here, we're going to work a single, a half double, and a double. So skip this one, and into the next, we're going to work a single, a half double, and a double. Okay, 
Now if you need to, you can use a stitch marker. I just had one right here. A stitch marker into that single crochet so you don't get lost. All right, so now repeat across our chain. We're gonna skip two and into the next, work a single, half double, and a double. Oops. Skip two into the next with a single, half double, and a double. And a double. All right. Get me some slack. And that's what we're going to repeat across our chain, guys. Skip two, single, half double, and double into the next. And your chain is going to kind of stretch out a little bit, but that's all right. So go ahead and repeat the skip two single half double double into the next skip two single half double double skip two repeat that all the way and i'll meet you guys when we get close to the end all right i've made it to the end and i've got one two three chains left make sure you guys can see that I've got three chains left, so we're going to skip two, and into the last chain, we're only going to work a single. We're not going to work the whole little set. We're just going to work that single. There we go. All right, now, if you're not going to change colors, uh, just hold on a second, but if you are going to change colors and change color every row like this one is, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do. But if you're not going to change if you're not going to change color, just hold on just a second. Okay, to change color, you guys do however you want to do it. I find this just to, to be easier to me. So I chain one, pull up a loop. Make sure it's enough tail to weave in. That's enough tail to weave in. And I grab my next color. And I go ahead and make sure I got enough tail and I make a slip knot. Get that on my hook. And then what I do is I insert my hook right into that single that last single crochet we worked. Now don't get confused because we have the single and then right there is the chain one that we worked. So don't try to go into that chain one. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to pull up my working yarn and basically what I'm doing is working a slip stitch okay chain one and then I turn now if you notice my tail is right here in the way well this helps with weaving in all these ends at the this is gonna get confusing this helps to weave in all the ends at the end of the wash rag <laughs> So if you notice, you see how it's setting right in the middle. So all, and I don't tighten it yet. All I do is just push it to the side because I'm going to work right over everything. So I chain one, I turn, and I'm just going to go right in and work my single, my half double, make sure you're working over that tail, and my double. And now just flip it, the tail to the back. Okay, and now for row two, all we're doing is working a single, a half double, and a double into every single crochet. So basically what we're doing is skip two into the next. Work our single, our half double, and our double. Okay, skip two, which is our single. Work our single, half double, and double. Now if you didn't change color, all you'd have to do is chain one, like we would be this way, 
if you didn't change color, you just chain one, turn, and right back into that single, work a single half double double, skip to the next one, which is your single, work a single half double double, and that's the repeat. Skip two into the next, which is our single. We're gonna work a single, a half double, and a double. Skip two into the next, single, half double, and a double. And it. All right, so go ahead and repeat our sets all the way down into each single crochet. Skip two, there's our single, skip two, there's our single, skip two, there's our single, and work your set, which is your single, half, double, double, and I will meet you guys at the end. Okay, I'm coming to the end. I just took a drink of coffee. Whew, it's hot. Okay, so I'm coming to the end, and my last single is the one I have marked here. So to end our row, all that we're going to do is into that last single crochet we skipped to. There's our last one that we marked. We're going to work a single, and that is it. So now, if you're not changing color, chain one, turn into that single, work a single, half double, and a double. Skip two, single and half double. I got a knot coming. And double. Skip two and continue that along. Now, if you're with me, let go. I crocheted through it around a knot. Now I don't want to come out. There, we got it. Okay, if you're with me, I need to work that. Single, half double, double, single, half double. Well, double, skip two into that last one. Work a single. Okay, so if you're with me and we're going to change color again, we're just going to chain one. Pull up a loop to weave in our ends, cut, pull that out, get our green, get a slip knot, and like I said, you guys can change color however you want to. This is just how I do it, and it helps. So here's um, another little piece of advice. It helps to weave in the tails as you go. And then by working over this tail, it's one more step already done for you and you're weaving in your ends, if that makes sense. So like, you know, you've already got a portion of it already weaved in. Now all you got to do is just go back. Okay, so I'm going to insert into that last single, pull through, and just work a slip stitch, chain one, and turn. Now I'm going to work right over my tail and that knot and everything. All right, now I'm ready to move on. Skip two, single. There was a weird. Okay, skip two, and we single, <clears throat> half double, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> sorry about that, that was weird, single, half double, double, skip two, and into your single, single, half, and a double, and that's it guys, that is the repeat for our wash rag. I'm going to leave the rest of this up to you guys. 
you know, into every single crochet besides our very last one, we are going to work a single half double double. Skip two, there's our single. Single half double double, single half double double, single half double double, all the way to the end and into your very last single, which you're going to, uh, you know, as you're working, you're going to have to turn it a little bit or use your stitch markers to find your last single, work a normal single crochet. Chain one, fasten off, or just chain one and turn and continue your round as normal. The very first single crochet gets a single half double double, and that's what you repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this row, and then I'm going to come back and show you how to start a row one more time, and then I'm going to let you go. Okay, I come to the end into my very last single crochet. I'm going to work a single. If you don't change colors, all you need to do is chain one, turn right into that single crochet, the one we literally just worked. We work a single, half double, and a double. And then we continue along just like we have been. But if you're going to change colors, I'll show you guys this one more time. Single crochet into your last single. Chain, blah, blah, chain one, pull up a loop. Make sure it's long enough to weave in later. Snip. Grab our white. Get a slip knot on there. Actually, I'm going to cut right past that knot. Okay. Now we get a slip knot. Get that on our hook. Into our very last single that we worked. Insert our hook. Pull it a loop through and then work a slip stitch. And now we chain one and turn. And we've got all this to work over on the, on the back. So now we work our single, our half double. I'm working on top of my knot and my tail and a double. And I just flip that to the back and get it out of my way. And then continue the pattern. Skip two into the next, a single, half double, and a double. I split that. Skip two, single, half double, double. Okay, so repeat that over and over and over. Ah, my nose is just, whenever you frog this cotton, it like fluffs everywhere <laughs> and it's going up my nose and ugh. okay so I'm gonna repeat that uh, row row two I'm just gonna keep repeating 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 and I, when I come back I'm gonna show you guys let's see so I'll have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 is that right? Yeah, 25 rows. So get your 25 rows done, and then when we come back, we're going to work a border, which all it is is just single crochets around the edge. I, this is just so pretty to me. Okay, I'll be back, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back, and I've worked my 25 rounds. Or, I'm sorry, rows. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we got 25 rows. And I got all my ends weaved in. Here's my pile. Churchy helped me with those. So now what we're going to do 
is do our stop looking at me do our uh, single crochet border so now we need to decide you know do you want white to be the front or do you want green to be the front so since I've already worked one and green is my front we're gonna go with white so all I'm gonna do is turn my white because you can see the difference like this is mainly green this is mainly white so what I'm going to do is put the mainly white side up and I am going to go into my last stitch over here. So I have, what do I got? Single, half double, single. I'm going to go into that last stitch. I have a feeling this is going to be a bad idea with him sitting here. All right, I'm gonna get a slip knot on my hook. Put it on, pull it through, chain one, and I'm gonna go back into that single crochet that I'm into, and I'm work over my tail also, and I'm gonna work four singles. That's gonna be my first corner. Two, three, and four. Okay, Churchy. I love you, buddy, but you're a little bit of a pain. Okay, so I've got my four singles worked. And if you need to, go ahead and mark that first single right there. You don't have to, but if you need to, go ahead. And now all I'm going to do is just evenly space out single crochets down this side. And I am still working over my tail. I'm just looking. Oh, that's too much of a stretch. Um, I'm going to put two there. And then come over. So I'm just looking to where I can get my hook. Put another one and then reach over. Be careful because if you get too many single crochets, it's going to start making like a shell. And we don't want that. So go ahead and evenly space out single crochets down this side and I'll meet you on the corner. Okay, so I've come to this corner right here and I went ahead and I counted the four that we did down this side I've got 40 single crochets and now we're gonna work our corner down here so I am going to get my hook in there wherever I can uh, there we go all right now I'm gonna work four singles two three and four and now I'm just going to single crochet. This is the bottom of our beginning chain. So I'm just going to single crochet down this chain, evenly spacing them out. Going where I can go. So it looks like a good way to go with this is I'm going to scooch up a little bit <laughs> all right so I'm going to single crochet in this little triangle shape right here which is the remaining loop of a chain single in there then I'm gonna see the see the chain right here I'm gonna single crochet right into that and then right here at the bottom of the uh, uh, the set we did the single half double and double I'm just gonna go right into the bottom and then there's our little that little triangle shape. I'm going to go in there, right into that chain, and then right into the bottom right here. It's going to go right in there. All right, so single crochet across here, and I'll meet you at this corner. Okay, I've come around this, what is it, the bottom, and I've got, um, including the four, I've got 40 here.
All right, now, actually right where I worked that last single crochet, which is at the bottom of the, uh, uh, the I about said shell, the single half double and double, I already worked a single crochet in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and make that my corner. So I've got one, so all I'm gonna do is add three more singles. One, two, three. All right, and that's my curve. So now I'm gonna rotate and I'm gonna evenly space out single crochets this side and I'll meet you at that corner. Okay, I've made it up this side and now I'm to the uh, 25th row of our pattern right there. So right into that first single crochet, I am gonna go ahead and work my, I didn't get into that. I'm gonna work my three single, or four singles. So there's one, two, oh, I all kinds of split that, two, three, and four. And now I'm just gonna single crochet for each stitch right across the top. Nothing fancy on this one. All right, so you guys just single crochet for each stitch across the top. And I will meet you guys at the end. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I've come across the top. I've got one more stitch to work into right here. And now I'm going to slip stitch to my first. There, I got it. Chain one, pull up a loop. Cut. Pull tight, and there we go. Weave in your ends, and there is your dish rag, washcloth, what, how, whatever you guys call them. These are, these, I cannot get over how fast these work up. You can get one of these done in a, just a, just a couple of day, I get, I bet. Oh, sorry, Churchy. So, let me get this wash rag. No, no. There you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was super fun. I like what I like making dish towels and wash rag sets. Okay. <laughs> I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching my videos. I truly and honestly really appreciate it. And thank you so very much. Um, <laughs> I'm just giggling at church. Every piece of yarn he sees move, he, he freaks out, ready to attack. Anyway, guys, if you wouldn't mind, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an upload from me. And then click uh, that notification bell and then click all. And then go into the um, description box and check out all the links I got for you guys down there. Leave me a comment. I love reading your guys' comments. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.